Today's adventure brings us to a lion park. What? We're in Vegas. Lions in Vegas? That's right. right well, the M here. MGM don't have them anymore, but we can tell you where they're at. So stay tuned today and see what's going on and where you can see lions and even an ostrich in two and a whole bunch of birds right here in Vegas. And a special tall guest. So today's adventure, we're heading into Vegas. We got a whole bunch of things to show you, so stay tuned and watch a whole bunch of couple videos if you happen to be in Vegas to check out. First stop is a lion habitat. Ranch, they call it a ranch. I didn't see much cattle, so I don't think it was a ranch. It's a lion ranch. Oh, okay, I got it. So you never know what you might see. So come along with us, check this out. This is a non-for-profit. So if you come out here and check them out, you're gonna be helping to feed these animals and care for them. So today we've got a special, really tall guest. We're gonna have at the end. And he even paints. So don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and ring that bell. Here we go. Let's go. I'm not going to make him stand up because okay. he has kind of a bad back. Okay. okay. A little bit of arthritis here and there, and as they've aged up. Usually 15 years old is kind of the life expectancy for wild African lions. Now, was he at the MGM too? Yes, he was. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so that little date under their name is their birth date. Oh, okay. Um, as you can see, they were, they're from the same litter, so they are brothers. Um, so anybody born before 2012 was featured at the MGM. Oh yeah, he was the one that was in front of the um, window. Yeah, in front of the window with the Jeep. Oh, that's actually Bentley. So okay. dude oh, is the yeah. one next door with the female in there with him. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, we can see him. But he was so far off in the distance, so kind of. Cute. I mean, not really. Well, is that like hamburger or what is that? Uh, it's actually ground horse meat. Horse meat. Mm. <laughs> well, because these other guys that they eat seafood normally. See what? So, how you doing today? My name is Cameron, my lovely volunteer over here. And then of course I have the one and only, the first and only giraffe in the state of Nevada, and his name is Ozzy. Hey Oz, you gonna come over? Now as you guys know when giraffes are born, they stand about six feet tall. Six feet tall. Now when we got him from the Tanganyika Wildland Park from Wichita, Kansas, he stood at about eight feet tall and he's around eight months old. Now he is a six-year-old. Giraffes do not stop growing until about the age of seven. So he's got a couple more months, so he's literally growing by every minute. So I'm going to ask him, hey Oz, how tall are you now? Beautiful. So if you see there, he shows 16, but a couple weeks ago when he was standing all the way up, we believe he's around 17 feet. Uh, his ozicones in the back were actually passing the line. So he can be anywhere from 17 to 18 feet when he's finished growing. His dad wasn't that tall, but it's 2020, so you never know what's going to happen, right? <laughs> All right, let's get you painting, bud. Hello, everyone on Facebook, by the way. We are live. You ready to paint off? Now, he is a reticulated giraffe. Reticulated giraffes are one of the tallest of the giraffes. In the, in the wild, in fact, these guys are considered the sentinels of the savanna, and that simply means a lot of smaller prey species actually like to hang around giraffes. Because of that great height vantage point, he's able to spot predators coming from miles away. So if you're a smaller prey species hanging around Ozzy here and he takes off running, 
you better be sure to take off with them because trouble's coming. <laughs> Speaking of trouble, we have 31 lions on property. You may be wondering how does Ali feel about that? He says, no problem. I'm a lot bigger than they are. Our biggest lion on property, his name is Dude. He weighs in at a whopping 600 pounds. When Ozzy's finished growing here, he can weigh anywhere from two to 3,000 pounds. So kids, be sure to eat your fruits and vegetables so you can be big and strong like Ozzy here. Now Ozzy is a strict herbivore, which means he only eats plant material. He's getting some of his favorite treats right now, which are string beans. He loves Brussels sprouts. He also likes broccoli, cauliflower, carrots. His main diet is hay like a horse and he gets lettuce as well. So he loves his veggies. In fact, he's such a strict herbivore. If I were to be out feeding lions and my hands smelled like blood or meat, he would absolutely refuse anything I try and give to him and tell me to go wash my hands. <laughs> now, I'm a 27 year old grown man. If my hands are washed, he would tell me to go and wash them again. So I should do a good job the first time, right? Come here, Oz. He likes the moonwalk occasionally. You ready? Perfect. So I wait for him to stick that nice long tongue out, and that's his way of letting you know he's ready to paint. He also doesn't have any food stored up in those cheeks of his. He tends to act like a chipmunk and store food in his cheeks. But we don't want to add any extra texture to the canvas or to our human easel. I think it's pretty fun. Now that tongue is prehensile, which is a fancy word for saying he can grab and hold on to, to, to things like we do with our hands here. And it's that dark blue or purple color because it acts as a form of sunscreen. Giraffes spend about 18 to 20 hours a day foraging. So could you guys imagine trying to eat with a sunburnt tongue? Yeah. Here we go. Not fun. Some people like their coffee that hot. Thank you, sir. Ready? Now giraffes can't see in color, so he is placing the color exactly where he wants to. When he doesn't like a color, he'll put it on the side of the barn there, or he'll drop the paintbrush right in front of us. But he also loves doing face painting, hair streaking, and manicures. So if you're interested in getting a manicure, be sure to see Deshaun in the gift shop and we can get you on the books. But they have that unique ability because they're able to see what's ripe and ready for picking. Giraffes only want the freshest food possible, and they want to make sure that they are conserving their garden and making sure that they're not taking anything off the trees too early. Now, do we know how many vertebrae we have in our neck? Does anybody know anatomy majors around here? Seven C spines. Seven, perfect. Now, do you know how many a giraffe has in his neck? A lot lower than 13 closer to us than you think. Nine? A lower, lower than nine. Wow. Seven? So seven, just like we do. <laughs> his is on the ball and socket joint, which allows him to maneuver his head in multiple directions. In fact, male giraffes do a fighting technique called necking, and that's when they square off against a, an opposing bull, and they'll swing their head and neck as fast and hard as they can, almost like a baseball bat, until the opposing male gives up, or permanently gives up, I would say. Male giraffes do live a solitary life. They only go into herds for the right to breed. Avi is waiting for that large herd of females to come walking down Las Vegas Boulevard. <laughs> Quite frankly, I am too. I would love to see that. <laughs> you ready, bud? Now giraffes in captivity can live anywhere from 25 to 30 years. He's a six year old. So we got quite a bit of life to live and a lot of painting to do. So we wanna keep these painting demonstrations on the positive side, but I also wanna let you guys know, besides being a beautiful giraffe and an awesome artist, Ozzy plays a very important role here as an animal ambassador. Giraffes are going through what you call a very tough time right now. Their populations have dwindled down by almost 80%, guys, and that's due to us, human encroachment and poaching. So Ozzy wants you to help him out by spreading the word and letting as many people as you can know that the only proper way to shoot a giraffe is with the camera. Make sure you hashtag Ozzy the Giraffe or Lion Habitat Ranch. He does have a social media presence. I caught him on his phone earlier on Tinder. And uh, his at name is Wild Thing and his bio said tall and handsome. So be sure if you see him on Tinder to swipe right guys. Now, like I said, once again, he is a six year old. So we're gonna 
do a few more touches to the canvas here. But please be sure to give him a wonderful round of applause because he does deserve it when he's finished, okay? Okay. Good job. Let's go ahead and show him that. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Perfect. Uh, they like it. I love it. Let's get you some cookies over here because he does not work for free. <laughs> Can you go ahead and take a bow for me, bud? Good job. Come back up. I know you're not hitting it. Good job. Give another round of applause, please. Now, he does have hat scarves, t-shirts, and canvases of all sizes. If you do not like any of that, we do do custom work as well. Uh, we do have snacks and refreshments. Also, I know Christmas is coming, so please be sure to visit our gift shop. Uh, we do ask that you do one family at a time and keep your mask over your nose and mouth at all times. We want to keep you safe and keep our animals safe. And I want to let you know, you guys are part of the team. We appreciate you so much. And uh, we hope you come back to visit us and enjoy the rest of your stay. Thank you so much. I'll be letting you guys know when the bird chat will be taking place. YouTube channel. Oh my gosh, hi. My name is Molly. I'm a volunteer here. And where are we at? Huh? Where are we at today? Where are we at? We're at Lion Habitat Ranch. Well, tell me a little bit about it. How long have you been here? I have not been here very long. I'm actually here on a school project. I go to school in California, and they sent me out here with a group of other students to be able to volunteer here for a week and kind of learn about the place and learn what it's like to be a zookeeper. Sounds great. We are all donation based, so you guys buying your tickets today goes directly into feeding lions, giraffe, and the birdies here. So they appreciate your time to make it in as well. Are you open daily? Uh, we are. Um, we are closed Tuesday and Wednesday, uh, but Monday. And normally, if it wasn't during the virus season, do you, can you just normally walk in and get tickets? Uh, yeah, so you would originally be able to purchase tickets at, um, right at the ticket booth, but because of COVID, we do require online reservations. Uh, we previously did giraffe feedings and lion feedings as well. Hopefully, maybe this time next year, as things die down with the virus, we'll be able to get that stuff back. Yeah, he wants more people to come. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what a good boy. What's your name, baby? So I want to thank you for coming along today. We came out here and checked out the Lion Ranch. Who the heck are these people that we picked up along the side of the road? Well, this is actually one half of our family. One half. The other half didn't make it this trip. So this is Mindy, our daughter. James is her husband. And we have Blake and Landon. Those are our grandsons. So they don't come on camera very often because of course they're all camera shy. So this is the one and only time you'll see them. And we're gonna leave you with this. Thanks for coming along today. Hope you enjoyed our video in Vegas. Share us with your family and friends. Subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Ring that bell for notifications. And we'll see you next time. What's the boys gonna to wave to their friends? You're YouTube famous now. They peace out. <laughs> Not everybody gets 15 seconds of fame on our YouTube channel. We'll see you next week. Or actually, this is probably going to come out next week. So we'll see you in a couple days. Bye. Bye.